aka the principal painter and today on this Sunday I've got some unboxings from some smaller companies. I do like to shop smaller companies. Not only are they uh, for the most part economical um, but it shows you guys different things rather than me unboxing the same thing every single time and again it exposes you to some different places to look for some things. So the first thing I want to share with you is a pen that I got from Lathan Mysteries. Lathan Mysteries is on Facebook. Uh, she does hand turn pens and she drops her pens and sometimes does auctions for them, sometimes does drawings for them. And this one went up for auction and I absolutely loved it and had to have it. And again, she is Lathan Mysteries. You can't, sorry, I'm popping the bubble wrap. You can find her on Facebook. I will write her uh, handmade by, Etsy is handmade by Hamongo. And then turned items on Facebook, Lathan Mystery. So um, I'll, I'll write Lathan Mysteries down so you can do a look up on Facebook. But check out this pen. I absolutely, not only do I, am I a purple fan, but again, um, where you grip is thinner. I guess you can use this side too to grip, but I like this side better because it is a little bit uh, thinner. Um, it is a lighter weight pen, but look at the middle of that. Pan them in. It's all a floral design. Is that not cool? I thought that was absolutely stunning. And she's got a, a million bazillion uh, different styles, different turning styles, different obviously colors and designs, but I absolutely loved this one. Um, you guys know Pentastic Painters is my go-to for pens, but I couldn't resist this one. I had to get it. And again, this is Lathan Mysteries on Facebook. So thank you. It says, enjoy your beautiful pen. Happy DPing, Linda. And Linda obviously is the owner of Lathan Mysteries. I will again put that below. The next items I have to unbox are from another small company, or I assume it's a smaller company, I'm not certain. I found them, these again popped up on Facebook, and it is a company called Craft Saving. And again, I'm assuming it's a China-based company. Uh, my purchase of these two items is Mindy of Mindy's Diamond Moments Fault because she got me in a gnome mood. Okay, I didn't know I liked gnomes this much, but um, it is a stiffer canvas, it feels like a canvas. It is poured glue because of the clear plastic, so I can roll it back. Um, sometimes these, and it's smaller, it is smaller, but I really liked the images. And also, um, Craft Saving, again, you can find on Facebook, just look up Craft Saving. I will write the company name in the description below. Um, and you can get to their website from Facebook, but this is where I found them. All right, let's get ready to see the first cute little item I got. Isn't he cute? He's a patriotic gnome. I loved him. And again, it's so it's sometimes much more, uh, much more fun. It's fun to do some smaller projects in between your larger ones. And so I figure I can do these and get him out for the 4th of July. It is a 30 by 40 centimeter. It has 15 colors. Does not look to be any ABs. Doesn't mean you can't replace them, though, with uh, sparklers. DPing with sparklers with Tmaw. Very sticky canvas. Um, if you'll get them into the drill field. Lots of reds, but again, I don't see anything that's going to trip me up. Uh, there are lots of threes in here. Um, it's interesting. Oh, okay. Um, I think some of the background is red and some of the symbols are a little bit darker. So again, dark, I like this, dark on the lighter symbols and light on the darker symbols. But isn't he cute? He's given his peace sign with his little 4th of July hat. I loved him. Um, again, it is poured glue so you can roll it back. Don't do it. If it's double-sided adhesive, don't do it. And again, th these are extremely economical for those of you that are budget conscious. I think these are like eight or nine bucks a piece. I mean, they're really um, economical. And again, craft savings on Facebook. You get a typical toolkit, boat, wax, and a pen. No baggies. And here are your colors. Of course, there's going to be a lot of, you guessed it, red, whites, and blues. And again, when you get this gray uh, striping, uh, your drills are going to be good. I do see uh, a few dimples in the bottom of the drills, but it should not make any difference laying them down on the canvas. There's a, there's a difference between a little dimple and a cavern that makes your drills 
concave, so I don't see anything that is looking like a problem. I'll look at my darker uh, colors. But you got a lot of white, obviously. You've got a big white background. It is a round diamond painting. Taupe and brown. Lavender and darker lavender. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing some dimpling. This is uh, 1505, I believe. Is that the, no, that's the canvas. Okay, it does not have the DMC codes on the bags, but it does have it on the canvas. That's a beautiful periwinkle. Yeah, I'm seeing some dimpling, but not like horrible. I don't see any in those. Yeah, your lighter colors aren't going to have it. But again, there's a difference between a dimple and just, you know, defective drills. The dimples should not affect putting these down on your canvas. So here are the colors in this. Some really pretty, you know, again, patriotic colors, some gray, and then some brown. So that is my first diamond painting from Craft Saving. Has, have any of you heard of craft saving or have you done a diamond painting by craft saving? Please put that in the comments below. I'd really like to know your thoughts on that. Um, you know, I have not. I just discovered this company a couple of weeks ago. They did get to me quickly. Um, I'm not as organized as some diamond painters. I don't write it right down when I ordered it or anything, but um, it did. It did get to me rather quickly, so that was good. And I had to get this one. You're going to see it and you're going to know why. Had to get it. Had to get it. Okay. And again, um, this one, wow, this one doesn't come with a toolkit. That doesn't make any difference to me. But um, for someone that's a new diamond painter, that would be a problem. But um, again, I've got so many kits, I'm drowning in them. This is what I got. Be kind. Is he not the cutest? I loved him. Um, the symbols on this one are bigger, like really big. Uh, much bigger than I'm used to. Wow, that's interesting. All right, 16 colors. It is a round diamond painting. And again, it is a 30 by 40. I would probably assume it was going to be a 25 by 35 uh, based on uh, these types of companies, but that is not a big deal. Yeah, the, the drill filled is as clear as a bell. Little folds, but you can put them, you can put these canvases under books and it's fine. No rivers, no bubbles, nothing like that. But look, do those symbols look bigger to you? I think they look bigger. I don't know why, maybe it's just my eyes playing tricks on me, but they look bigger than uh, than the other canvas. Interesting. And again, 16 colors, uh, no ABs. But again, if you are looking for um, economical canvases, um, I mean, I don't see anything wrong with these canvases at all. And again, you can put this under a mattress or a book to get these folds out, but it's not causing any problems with the canvas. So I'll just... Put it under something heavy to get it uh, to lay flat. And now for the big mystery. Kara can never figure out how to open these bags. Oh my goodness. Seriously? Oh, here we go. It's right in front of my face. That's why I couldn't see it. But I just loved him. He's got a lot of reds in him. Um, if it weren't for, you know, the flowers and everything, he kind of looks Christmassy, but... Um, I think he's just a happy, happy red little gnome with his red boots and his red hat that I, I have. I mean, be kind. Come on, people. You know. All right. Let's look at the colors, shall we? Um, not seeing any dimples in these. This is interesting. It's almost like a different kit, but that is okay. Um, both of the, oh, we got some part ears with the gray from this bag. They're being very social. More gray. Kind of a light army green. I don't know what to call that. Um, it's not a seafoam green. It's not a pea green. Anyway, cross between. Oh, I love that red. Man, oh man, that red is absolutely vibrant. I bet, yep, it's 666. I knew it. I knew it. Look at that beautiful green. That's going to go in the, in the, uh, in here and in the flowers. That's a gorgeous green. Cranberry, another really pretty red for some shading, a very, very light pink. Again, another shade of a light green, a pink. Is there 310 in this? Yes, there's 310, but no, oh, this is 14. What is 14? 3371, so it's a dark, dark brown. More pink, 
Again, a lot of white for that background because you're gonna have a lot of it. And that is 16, which is, yeah, the letter K. So it's all the background. So you're gonna have a lot of white. Okay, those are my two cute gnomes. Again, from Craft Saving. It's a new company to me. I've not done a diamond painting from them, but I'd love to hear if you have and your thoughts on them. Um, like I said, these almost look like two totally different kits with the different symbols and you no know, toolkit and all that, but um, I will let you know what I think, but be kind. I thought he was super cute. The last thing I have to open is from one of my favorite companies. I love Amy. Um, this is from Diamond Painting Bliss. I did take out the uh, invoice and read the note off camera. Thank you so much for the sweet note. Um, you are awesome. And Amy sent stickers. She wrote me a little note there that I read off camera. I got some, a butterfly, a hedgehog. This reminds me of the elusive hedgehog cover minder from Craftably. I'm still going to try for it. Beautiful sun. That's gorgeous. Almost a Celtic sun and a diamond. So thank you for my stickers, Amy. Amy always puts in a ton, a ton of stuff. Her gift bags are epic. I always say that. I don't care if you buy one thing or 12 things. She always sends this. Look at this gift bag. It is packed full of stuff. Now, I got this brush. And again, mention in the comments if you know what this brush is for. I am assuming, oh, you know what? I bet I know what this is. Okay, let's hold that thought. I know what that is. Okay. I ordered something that has to do with that that I will open up momentarily. But let's look at this epic gift bag. So fun. Okay. Oh my gosh. I don't know how she gets it all in here. It's crazy. All right, so you got some view. Oh, that's gorgeous washi tape. It's uh, kind of got this, looks like an ocean and um, some foiled birds flying on the ocean. It's a thicker washi tape. Wow, okay. I got a pencil sharpener. I know what this is for. I will show you in a minute. Some candy. Some candy. <laughs> Um, she always sends the most awesome office supplies, just clips and fun paper clips, and I will definitely be using those. I'll, I might use them in my planner. And look at this. What is this? Oh, how cute. It's, is it a, it's like a carabiner. Okay, so you can hook this on like a purse or, that's gorgeous. Thank you, thank you. What else did I get? Oh, it's a cow cover minder, a Christmas cow cover minder. Is that not the cutest? And it is sticking to something else, the magnet. Oh gosh, that is super cute. Can they see this, Marlon? Am I holding it right? Uh -huh. Okay, so that's in there. Ooh, I got some pretty in pink dazzlers. So these are crystals that you can, again, replace on a diamond painting if you have a, an area of pink that would look good with um, a sparkly touch to it. What is all this? Oh. I'm spilling stuff. Okay. <clears throat> okay, this is a little diamond scooper. That's awesome. A pen. And a little duck. <laughs> it's a little pencil pouch, and it says, I can't swim. <laughs> Very cute. And what is inside? Okay. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, so it's a ring. And then you can, if you need to take your diamonds with you, you can put them, these are very nice sturdy bags. You can put your diamonds in here and have them on a ring. So they're all in one spot. Great idea, Amy, thank you, thank you. And this, just like I said, it's a, a mini clipboard, mini um, planchette, a pin, sorry. I'm trying to read French, which I'm probably not good at. That is awesome, thank you, thank you. I will put that in my kitchen for sure. Amy, all these goodies, seriously, this is, you know, this is not purchased. This is what she puts in here, so that's awesome. All right, let's get into the goodies, shall we? I can't wait. Okay. Oh, and I got another, st Hello Kitty. Everybody knows I love Hello Kitty. That will go on my crafting table. Okay, let's get rid of the box. Keep this, put this here. Piece of box goes back in here. Don't forget about this brush, because I told you I was going to show you uh, in a bit what that's for. All right. What did I get? Okay. So this is what this is for. 
This is a brush that you can diamond paint. I've never seen a brush. This is Brandy's fault. Brandy's like, have you seen these? And I'm like, no. Of course I went, had to get it. It's a long, okay. So it is a seahorse on a brush. And obviously when you're diamond painting, you're gonna want this flat and not want to have it at an angle because it might move around on you. So after you're finished diamond painting, the seahorse, isn't that gorgeous? I love that. Then you put the brush part inside. So that is that. Um, it is a special shape, special drills. I may do this right away for smashing the specials. I really like that. I wanna see how that comes out. All kinds of special shapes, special drills in here. So looky what we got. Oh yeah, we got some faceted, looks like snowflakes on the top of these. Um, they look like Aurora Borealis, but they're more crystally. Some stars, some clear faceted domes, some pearl smaller domes. A marquee, um, again, looks to be, um, you know, crystals, but they're, they're, they capture a lot of different colors. Ooh, slivers. Mindy's and Sue's favorite thing, slivers. Woohoo! Purple. And then you have, okay, you've got um, beautiful turquoise crystals, and you have two ABs in this. You've got a blue AB and a purplish blue AB. What is an AB, Kara? You know what it stands for, guys, but if you are new, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It is a special coating put on to drills to just make them all together now, shim, shim, shimmy, shimmer, just a little bit more. All right, so that's the hairbrush. I'm not seeing a hairbrush. Like I said, I may do this right away for smashing the specials. That is super cool. Love that, Amy, thank you, thank you. I also, again, guys, I told you I was in a gnome mood, right? I told you I was in a gnome mood. Saw this, really liked it. Let me do, let me do this for one of the children in my life. It's really cool and it's super cute. It is a string backpack. Oh yes, I won't be carrying this. This is too small for me, but isn't that cute? It's a little gnome and he is also special shapes, special drills. And when you're done, um, if you want to seal it with something, you can. If you're not a sealer, don't worry about it. But I thought it was super cute. But if a kid's going to be lugging it around, I'd probably seal it a little bit. And it is, it's a partial, it's not a full, but I thought he was awesome. Okay, where, again, sorry, struggling with opening these plastic things. Where is the opening? Here we go. Sorry for the crinkling. You know the drill. Okay. So here are the special shapes, special drills in this one. We've got some yellow faceted domes. We've got some really pretty pink marquee. Where does that go? Letters A. It's going to go in the flowers. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Uh, pinkish reddish rhinestone, kind of a smoky gray rhinestone, a white AB, um, kind of a topaz rhinestone, yellow rhinestone, green rhinestone, and again, here are those beautiful purplish blue ABs. So this is special shapes, ABs, special drills, and rhinestones. So that will be so fun and super cute to do. This is the last item. I'm probably going to enlist the help of my scissors that I got from Diamond Painting Bliss. And she is on Etsy. I do believe I have her uh, shop linked below. If I do not, I will make sure to do it. Let's get this out of here and see what we got. She wraps everything so nicely, packages everything so nicely. Ah, I knew Halloween was coming up, right? So I got to get this done too. My gosh, I'm going to be a busy girl. I got a Halloween pumpkin LED light. I have an LED light in my craft room that's been going for forever, so I thought that would be super cute to put out for Halloween. Can they see it? All right, so what does this LED light do? It's really cool. I have a heart over here on my craft table. Um, I don't know if this one will do it too, but they change colors, so. So it goes from green to pink to blue. It's really cool. Now, I don't know since this is a Halloween themed 
uh, item that it's going to do that, but, you know, if it changes from orange to green or what have you. And what you do is it is, you know, plastic. Um, you diamond paint both sides of it, so um, it's double-sided. And then you get a base to put it in. And the base also has a USB cord, and you essentially put the plastic piece in here, and then you plug this into a block, like if you have an iPhone or what have you, plug it into a block, plug it into a socket, and it lights up. It's really, it, it's really pretty. So I thought that would be fun for Halloween, so I ordered that. What did I get? Not too many colors in here. I'm gonna be busy with these smashing the specials things. Okay. Ooh, I got some stars. Okay, well, you only need one star. It goes at the end of the witch's hat, but you got some some extra in case you need it ever. You got uh, black. I believe that's, I don't know if it's 310 or, it doesn't have the DMC codes on it, but it, it looks pretty black to me. Uh, and then you get into your rhinestones. Again, topazy, brownish rhinestones. Beautiful orange rhinestones, of course, for the pumpkin. Some green rhinestones and some gold rhinestones. So that will be fun to do and put out for the fall and Halloween. So those are the things that I had to show you today. Thank you so much, Diamond Painting Bliss. Thank you so much. Oh, craft saving. There we go. More Diamond Painting Bliss. Yay! And where's my pen? What did I do with it? Oh, I put it back in here. And thank you, Lathan Mysteries, for all these fun unboxings today. I hope you guys had a great time and maybe found a new company or two to be looking at and purchasing from. Again, I love supporting small businesses and, um, you know, new folks to the crafting world. So uh, hopefully uh, you'll get over to Diamond Painting Bliss, Lathan Mysteries. Lathan Mysteries is on Facebook. Craft Savings is on Facebook. Diamond Painting Bliss is on Etsy, and I will have everything linked below, and I will make sure that they are, because I know people do look for those links. But that's what I've got for you today. If you're new to the channel and you like uh, hodgepodge unboxings like this, if you like other unboxings, uh, I always try to be conscious of showing you a variety of items that are out there, uh, just some for some variety. Uh, if you like this, if you like whipping Chats, um, uh, GB Maltese and I are doing hashtag all things craftably 21. Uh, it is our last week of this particular collab. We will be going live with Michael and Amy of craftably, not this coming Monday, next Monday. So it's a full week of whipping Chats. Grace will be putting hers up on Wednesday. I will be putting mine up on Friday. Uh, and we will draw the grand prize winner on Monday with Michael and Amy, uh, the owners of Craftably, on uh, my channel on, n not this Monday, but the following Monday. All right. If you like that kind of thing and you're new to the channel, consider hitting the subscribe button down below. It's a red button. Um, and uh, the bell to the right of it to let you know whenever I do unboxings, whenever I do whipping chats or lives. I go live every single Monday at 6 o'clock Central. Everyone is welcome, and I'd love to see you there. I saw a lot of new people last week, which was really fun. So I'll leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. Be kind. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.